opening, and now we turn it over to our friends at AMC Theaters for our next segment called Coming Soon, opening this week. Excuse me, what is opening this week? We've got two of them. First up is the BFG. Ten-year-old Sophie is in for an adventure of a lifetime when she meets the big, friendly giant, Mark Rylance. Naturally scared at first, the young girl soon realizes that the 24-foot behemoth is actually quite gentle and charming. As their friendship grows, Sophie's presence attracts unwanted attention of blood bottler, flesh lump eater, and other giants. After traveling to London, Sophie and the BFG must convince Queen Victoria to help them get rid of all the bad giants once and for all. Also coming out is the Purge election year. As a young girl, Senator Charlene Roan survived the annual Night of Lawlessness that took the lives of her family members. As a presidential candidate, Roan is determined to end the yearly tradition of bloodlust once and for all. When her opponents hatch a deadly scheme, the senator finds herself trapped on the streets of Washington, D.C., just as the last last latest purge gets underway. Now it's up to Leo Frank Rillo, her head of security, to keep her alive during the next 12 hours of mayhem. And I love the release dates on both of these movies because it is 4th of July weekend. 4th of July is, I believe, Monday, but you get that Independence Day, that big kind of movie with the BFG. I think I saw it last night. I think it's a great family film. It's not one of Spielberg's greatest movies of all time, but what what is he going to make now that's going to be as good as like a Jaws or a Schindler's List or a Jurassic Park? It's a very well done movie. There's a lot of good comedy in there, a really good running gag that you are going to be a huge fan of, and the Giants look terrific. Like the motion capture they did with Mark Rylance. He does so much with his eyes. He's so expressive as this giant that cares for this little girl amidst all these other evil giants like the Blood Bottler and the Flesh Lump Eater. Once you see the movie, you're going to know why their names are like that. And it's it really is a treat for a lot of people to see, I think. As far as the Purge election year goes, there, there's no better time to open this movie than Independence Day because finally we're getting into the political aspects of the purge. The first two purge movies, it was just this accepted thing that, yeah, well, we need to do this for 12 hours every year. You can do whatever the hell you want, and it allows us to release all of our inner demons. But now this woman who's in a position of power wants to end the purge, and not all the powers that be appreciate that. The last purge anarchy was so good because it turned the horror premise, which I didn't think worked as well in the first one, into an action movie. Frank Grillo might as well have been wearing the Punisher outfit right. because he was awesome in that movie, and I'm looking forward to more great action. When Christian and I see the movie tonight, Christian, I, my questions are twofold. I want to start with the purge election year for you. Have you seen the purge anarchy yet? Because that was your homework. Right. And are you looking forward to purge election year? Well, you know me. When it comes time to do homework, I was terrible in school. I haven't seen either purge one or two. What? Um, but I will mm. see the third one tonight. And I'm curious to how I will like this as someone who's never seen either one. I, and I have both of them on my DVR. I've had them on there for months. Will I go and see see them afterwards? That's the goal. That's what I hope happens. That after I see the third one, I really enjoy it. And then I want to go back and see one and two. But I do like Frank Grillo. I did hear the comparisons to The Punisher from the second one. The mm -hmm. second one was actually the one that everyone said, you can skip the first one, just watch the second one. Sure. But I do want to see this one. I'm curious to see what happens. Now, as far as BFG goes, it's Spielberg. I always want to see Spielberg movies, whether it's you know uh, BFG or, or the uh, Bridge of Spies, whatever it might be. If Spielberg's putting it out, I want to see it. We've talked about how he hasn't had a movie, like a big... I mean, Lincoln obviously worked. There's other movies. I, I liked War Horse, but there's other movies that he has done in, in that and the more serious kind of dramas that have worked. But the big budget blockbusters, he hasn't been doing them as well as he used to. So I'm hoping BFG will be one of those, or at least, like you said, a good family film that I can just go check out. So I missed it last night. I'm going to go see it this weekend. Schnepp, you yourself are a big, friendly giant. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to the movie version of your life story? Not particularly. Um, I'm looking forward to Ready Player One. That's a yeah. Spielberg movie that I'm really looking forward to. I've seen the trailers. I've seen what these characters look like. You know, I'll, I'll probably wait a couple weeks till I see BFG. The one that I'm really excited about is the Purge election year. I've seen the Purge, the first one. I've seen the second one, and I've been waiting for this one for a while. I like the premise of this series. I like the way they're going with the series. They're advancing the storyline and ratcheting up what is the Purge. And they're, it's, you know, it's if they make a fourth and a fifth one, you, the story will continue. And I think it's evolving. So to me, that's the one I'm most excited about. I think I'm going to be seeing it tonight with you guys. So. Oh, very good. So. Well, we will all have a great time with a big bucket of popcorn. Ashley, if you're at an AMC this weekend because all your dinner dates canceled on you and you're just looking <laughs> at the landscape, which of these two movies would you um, rather see? Definitely The Purge. I've seen the first two. I I love them. I think there's something about the storyline that's creepy. Like, what if this really happened? I mean, it would never really happen, but what if it really happened? I just love the story behind it, so definitely the purge.